I've been a little bit remiss on making videos lately because of this. This is my chest. This is a layer of plastic that's placed over top of a wound. This is a piece of sponge under the plastic. The hole, a hole has been made in the plastic and this 3 8 PVC tube is connected to the surface of the sponge. This is a piece of the sponge. It started out about this big. That's uh, maybe seven by five. And then the technician sculpts out a piece of sponge that fits the outline of the wound. You can see the sponge is about an inch and a quarter deep. Uh, if the wound is deeper than this, they'll put uh, two pieces in. Mine is not. So they sculpt out a piece, the shape of the wound. So this, like, I think when the vacuum gets to it, it squeezes down. I'll talk about the vacuum. That's the other part of the equation here. This is a continuation of the 3 8 tube that's connected to my chest. It comes apart here so that the stuff on my chest can be replaced independently of this. And what this is, take it out of the carrying case. This is a battery powered or line powered uh, vacuum pump. Pumps liquid, it sucks liquid through this tube into this container. Now that doesn't look like liquid because there's a gel pack in here that causes the liquid to gel. <laughs> so it's not really a liquid when it reaches the gel pack. If you look at it closely, you'll see it's 125 millimeters of mercury. That's a negative pressure. There's a peristaltic pump in here that maintains this number. I'll zoom in a little bit on the screen. Right now, if I touch the screen, nothing happens. I can unlock the screen by the, doing this. You see this is a measurement of the actual vacuum produced in millimeters of mercury. The machine is very quiet right now. Let me introduce a leak. I've got a bayonet vacuum connector here. See, the uh, vacuum dropped to zero because it's unable to keep up. And there we get the hundred and... There we go. <laughs> it's building back up. Uh, the 125 is a set point. There are other conditions can be set. Screens darkening there. Uh, what can I say? This canister, I change it about weekly. Uh, charging the battery lasts well over half a day. Recharges takes uh, four hours a night, four hours a day. This is actually a rental unit. Uh, I don't think 3M invented it. I think they've acquired it recently. This KCI, I think, was the developer of it. I could be wrong about that. 
it's got some sort of a data port or a programming port. I didn't touch that. This is for the uh, battery charger. Sort of curved to carry it against your body. And as I say, this is detachable. Has a latch here. So, this is called a wound vac. I've been putting up with this chest condition for about two years. Well, more than two years now. I've been on this thing for about a month. Maybe, maybe, maybe two weeks. So, if you have a wound that won't heal, or a deep wound, that needs to heal from the inside out, inquire about the possibility of using one of these. Hopefully your wound care specialist will recommend this, but in my case it took two years and a change of cities, doctors, and hospitals before this was prescribed. It just keeps me from bumping, there's an off switch. And it can be turned off, but this starts a timer and it will alarm in like 15 minutes. Uh, this actually is the on off switch. But it builds up quickly.